in the desert of Derizur, an exodus from hell, and in numbers far greater than ever imagined. Woman came first, and then the men, and among them, the BBC has learned, as many as 50 British fighters captured in the final three months of the Caliphate. The hardest core of a hateful ideology whose secrets are being revealed. Zachariah El Ogbani vanished from Britain five years ago. This is the first time he's been seen since. You went there to kill. You, you signed up with this notorious prescribed terror group. Many people will shrug their shoulders and say, well, that was your choice. Everyone's responsible for their choices. That's true. I can't, I can't defend myself. It's the truth, I came. My own will, my own fault, my own mistake. I guess I need to be punished. Can we discuss your injury? Yes. Um, tell me what happened. There was a lot of rockets being dropped. And one of the rockets landed uh, very close to me. The two people that were with me died. And uh, I... Alive, yeah. yeah. Barely alive. Uh, one leg was... Uh, I don't know where it went. The, my leg on, on the left uh, was barely attached. Zakallah khair. I would wear the shirt, but they, they don't have one in my size. He was once a promising student at the University of Westminster. Six of his fellow students also travelled to fight. Their extremism cost them dearly. Most were killed and injured. Zachariah El Ogbani has lost his British citizenship and he has a message for those considering extremism. Anyone that's still immersed by Islamic State methodology is wrong. It's a gang. It's, but they, they raise the flag of uh, the Shahid. A lot of people are tricked. Don't fall into the same trick. Hamza Pavez of West London is another willing IS recruit. He was captured a month ago. A lot of the Westerners were kept distances from one another because of one of the primary fears was targeted drone strikes. So. Uh, People wouldn't really want to be associated with one another just in case, because we didn't actually have the list of who's on the drone list or not. So we'd really be scared of, okay, this guy might be and this guy might be, so it's better I just keep to myself. But Hamza, this is an extraordinary thing because if for anybody else, if you realise that you were on a drone hit list, then you might actually start questioning what the hell you were doing in Raqqa and why you were being a member of the Islamic State. Didn't you think that was a time to leave the group? A, and if he was to ask me, would you willingly go and join a group which consists of one, two, three, and four? One, two, three, four being genocide, rape, enslavement, murder. Mm -hmm. Anyone in their right mind would have never, ever, ever gone over to join something of that caliber. So kind you were in your right mind then? I, I, I wasn't going to join this, something, or well, I didn't know that there was something waiting for me like that. So most of the foreign fighters, when they do step in, when you do talk to them, the first thing they'll say to you is that we would have never ever come if we'd known the realities of ISIS. The tabloids called him Hungry Hamza. Here he is on the left, 30 kilograms heavier. He complained on social media about missing British food. And then almost starved in IS's last stand in Baghuz. Only now, in defeat, does he condemn the group he served for five years. Because many kids, they did pass away in Baghuz and in Susa. Many, many kids passed away from severe malnutrition. Do you blame the West for that? No, I blame the Islamic State for it. 100%. Because they did have food, and they did have medicine, and they did have enough to provide, but they didn't. 
He grew up in a privileged West London home to Pakistani parents. He's now been stripped of his British citizenship. Young British men brought ruin to Syria. When they came here, they burned their passports and vowed never to return. They are the most committed extremists. They've lost their caliphate and their citizenship. For many, there will be no way back. Quentin Somerville, BBC News, Northeastern Syria.